Gradient text is a simple way to make your designs stand out. Today, I'll show you two methods for doing this in Canva. So let's jump in. What's up guys, it's Trent, and today we're gonna to look at how to add gradients to text in Canva. Currently, we can't add gradients to text as easily as we can with shapes, but I'll show you two methods today that should allow you to do basically any type of gradient text you want. So let's look at the first method. Now for this, we'll use a Canva app, and you can access the apps over on the left side of your screen here. So I'll click apps, and then you can click discover. And the app we want is called type gradient. So I'll put that in here. I'll hit enter. And this is the app here. So I'll click on it. And the first time you access it, you'll have this option here to click open. So I'll click open. And that's opened the app here. Now, if you want to access it again later, if you scroll down on your left toolbar, you can see all your apps you've installed here. And at the bottom, I have type gradient. So this app is quite simple to use. As you can see, we can actually support multiple lines here. So you can do multiple lines of text or you can just do one word. Now down below, we can choose our font. And as you see, if I click on this, it's quite a long list here. There's many different options. If you know the name of a font you like, you can search for it. There's one I like called Anton. I'll choose the regular one here. And then when you're done, you can click the back arrow on the fonts here. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom of this tool, you'll see a preview of what it will look like when I apply it to my canvas. So up here we have these different alignment options so I can center the text. You can see it's centered there. I can put it all the way on the right so you can see it's right aligned. I can also change the line height. I can crunch the words together or I can spread them apart. And finally below that we have the thing we actually care about, the gradient. Now by default it's this blue color and we have these three different points here, but you can add more points or change the existing ones. So what I can do is I can click this purple point here and I can change the color, maybe I want it to be red. I can click this middle point, maybe I'll make that green. I'll make red again. So now you can see down here we've applied our gradient. You can even add more points. So I'll keep this one as red here. Let's add another one here. Let's make it orange. Maybe I want to get rid of this green, so I'll select it and I'll click delete here. I can drag the yellow around if I want to change the point of the gradient. Let's make this last one yellow also. Let's make it a bright color there. I'll tweak this middle one a bit. So now I have kind of this flame gradient. And what I can do with these controls here is I can click on the endpoints and I can realign the direction that it's going to go in. So I can make it go side to side, or I can make it go up and down. I have lots of control over it here. Now, once you get it looking how you want, you can click add to design. So I'll click this. And now my text is added to the design. And I can resize it, move it around, of course. Now, if I want to change it, I just click on it again, and then I can make changes. I can even change the text. And whenever I make a change here, I have to click Update Design again down at the bottom. So I'll click Update Element. And we have our new text here. Of course, this one needs to be resized a little bit. I actually don't like the spacing with these new words, so let's try to change that. Maybe I'll change it like this. Let's align it to the left. And I'll update my element again. So there we go. Now you can also download your design. So to do that, you click Share, Download. And then you can choose PNG. If you have Canva Pro, you can select transparent backgrounds. I'll click download. I'll put it on my computer. I'll just call it gradient.png. Now I'll open that file in another program and I'll show you that it's transparent. So this is the file here in Affinity Photo and you can see it's transparent as indicated by the checker background. Now I can also download it as an SVG, but it's not really gonna be a true SVG. This graphic here is an image. So if I download it as an SVG, it's just gonna be an SVG with this image embedded in it. So you're not gonna get those scaling abilities that you get with a true SVG. So my recommendation if you're gonna use this tool is download as a PNG and give it a nice high resolution in there and then use that as your graphic. Okay, now let's look at the second method. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of the second method. It's a little complicated and I think if you can get away with the gradient app, you should definitely use it. But the second method does give you a little more flexibility in what types of gradients you use for your text. So let's check it out. The first thing you wanna do is find a gradient to use. And I find that in the photos category, we can get some good gradients there. So I'll search for gradients. And we can see there's tons of options here. I like this one over here, it's kind of colorful. So let me drag it onto my canvas. I'll make it big. I can actually hold shift while dragging the edge to make it fill my whole canvas. So I'm holding shift here and I'm changing the perspective of it. So let's add some text now. I'll add a text box. Let's call it sunset. Let's give it some word, I'll make it big. Let's choose a font I like. I like this Anton one, as I said. So I'll make it big so it covers the area of the gradient that I want to be in my text. So now with my text selected, what I'll do is I'll make it white. So I'll select the color here and I'll choose white. So now what you wanna do is reduce the transparency. So that's this button here. So with your text selected, 
I'll click transparency. And you want to drag it down as much as possible so you can start to see the gradient through it. So probably around 20% or so is good here. I'll keep it at 23%. That seems decent. And I'll click off. So now what we're going to do is copy this as an image and remove the gradient background. And that will give us our text with the gradient in it. So the easiest way to make this an image is to click share and click copy to clipboard. So I'm going to copy to clipboard. Click this button again, copy to clipboard. And you see some animation here. And we have it on our clipboard. So let me click off here. I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste what we just copied to our clipboard. So I'll click paste. And now what we have is an image of our first page. So this is actually an image here. I'll resize it so it's the size of the page. And then I'll click edit image. And I'll press the BG remover button. And now you can see it removed my gradient background. So what I'm left with is just the text with the gradient inside of it. Now the gradient does look a little faded because we had white text over the gradient. So it kind of desaturated a little bit. We can fix that. With my image selected here, I'll click edit image. Then I'll click adjust over here. And if you scroll down, you can change some of the parameters. I like to increase vibrance and saturation. So I'll drag up vibrance. I'll drag up saturation as well. And you can see we're getting a stronger color here. So I'll click off. So now we have our word with our gradient inside of it. And I can resize this and add other things to the design if I wanted to. Be sure to check out my Canva playlist for more Canva tutorials. And if you have any topics you'd like to see covered, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.